This week is all about drug prevention. Today, specifically focusing on devastating impacts of fentanyl. NBC 5's Carolyn Sistran is live in Burlington with the impact and prevention happening by groups on both sides of the lake. Carolyn? Yeah, Brian, Alice, substance abuse and overdoses are on the rise across the country, and that's why local organizations are saying visibility about these issues are more important than ever. National Fentanyl Awareness Day encourages a conversation, one that Turning Point Center has every day. We try to support them in, in getting them into their path to recovery. The center offers resources in aid to people and their families fighting drug addiction. They say they're seeing fentanyl everywhere, in just about everything. Even with stimulants, we think that there is a lot of uh, fentanyl in those as well, so it's very concerning. It's a similar situation in Essex County, New York. We assume all drugs could be laced with fentanyl at this point. So far this year, there have been seven overdoses in the county. Two were fatal. ECHO, the Essex County Heroin and Other Coalition, is tracking the number of deaths, non-fatal overdoses, and collecting other valuable information to make sure they continue to respond in a way that meets the needs. No time in history has it ever been that we have the best data collection systems in place, right? So what we couldn't capture before, we are really capturing now. Those on the front line of the fight in their communities. Addiction is a hard thing on people as well as it is on families. Emphasizing kindness and empathy for others as they push forward with their harm reduction work. Keep talking, keep supporting one another, keep uh, just keep trying in all the ways that we can. And if you or somebody you know are struggling with substance abuse, there are plenty of resources in our region. We have just some of them linked on our website, mynbc5.com. In Burlington, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.